Hi, I'm Craig from Kent Beer Reviews. Thanks for joining for another review. Um, a little bit behind on this one, although I've already reviewed this beer on draft. This is another beer from Cloudwater. Um, this is their double IPA version 12. It's coming in at 9% ABV. Lovely can. Um, as I speak, um, they're just shipping out the version 13, which by all accounts is going to be the last version of their double IPA. Let's give us can a bit of a squeeze yeah it's very good carbonation or good oxidization in there um, this beer was packaged on the 15th of February of 2017 best before March of 2017 um, I'm reviewing this on the 25th of March so it's a quite a short shelf life to be honest with you um, no, no more than three months personally I'd, I'd want to be drinking this by um, it's been in the fridge since I purchased it at the bottle shop in Bermondsey Let's crack this beer open then. This is coming in a 440ml can. I'll tell you all the gumph behind it in a minute. So beer in the glass. Wow, look at that haziness coming through. I've just drunk a, I say an old school IPA, a non-hazy IPA, and I still love that style. So this is another style within a style fantastic tangerine colour um, it's a little bit yeah it's a little bit darker Let me pick that up gentle carbonation just a couple of lines there streaming up so one finger just off white head lovely looking beer let's get an aroma then yeah big citrus flavours Mango, big time. Pineapple, passion fruit, grapefruit, tropical fruit notes, the usual kind of suspects. Slight dankness there. Some nice kind of light stone fruits. Peaches, nectarines, that kind of thing. Maybe some tangerines and citrus notes. Lemon, stunning on the aroma. What's it like in a taste? It should still be okay. Anyway, cheers. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. It's kept really well. It's been in the fridge ever since I've pretty much within a day of since I bought it. Yeah, on the taste you're getting big mangoes. Tropical fruit notes, pineapple, grapefruit, there's a slight dankness there, um, slight kind of pine needle resin. Them hops are absolutely shining. Incidentally, let's go into what it says on the back. Uh, specialising, specialising even in modern seasonal beer. The artwork is by Textbook Studio. Um, so the hops in this are mosaic hops, oh, it says mosaic hops take the lead in this V12, backed up by a whirlpool of Nelson Solving. We introduce a double yeast uh, pitch of fourth generation uh, WLP095 to experiment with the flavor changes and a small addition of caramel for an increased fruitiness. So I've, t I've told you the yeast already. So the bittering hops are Pilgrim Alpha CO2 extract, which is seems to be the norm for their double IPA versions. Um, the aroma hops are, as I said, Mosaic, Nelson Solving, and then the added of Chinook and Citra. So you're definitely picking up that citrusy edge uh, from there. And the malts are Golden Promise Oats. There is actually oats in this, which gives you that cloudiness where all the hop compounds latch onto the oats and give it that kind of full bodied or thicker kind of look and then it gives it that haze as well um, dextrose monohydrate and caramel 9% ABV allergens are gluten, wheat and barley these guys are as you know by now out of Piccadilly Trading Estate in Manchester they just opened up a barrel room which is now their tap room um, I'd love to go there one day yeah 
but this is just absolutely stunning. Um, I'm re as I said, I think I said anyway, I'm reviewing this on the 25th of March. Um, so it's just over, a, yeah, it's about five weeks, just over five weeks old, so it's going to be fine. I think anything within the 12 week period of it being canned, and these guys are actually giving you the canned on date and when they, you, when they want you to have it by. So that's fantastic. I'd love them to put the IBUs on the can somewhere, but that's that's the only thing I could sort of say that, you know, that's just me though, being a bit of a geek. Yeah, this is absolutely stunning stuff. Let's pull the rest of this in. I'll give it one more taste and a rating. Not going to get all that in there. But it's not going to cloud up more than that. Haze for days, as they say. That is fantastic. So, yeah. To me, it's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer. Just like the beer I've done before. Um, fantastic stuff from Cloudwater. I'm going to try and get hold of the version 13 in the next few weeks. Um, I know I keep doing these Cloudwater beers, but they're the beers that I want to try. So I'm just going to I'm just going to review whatever I want to try. I know there's not a lot of breweries I do, but there you go. If you want to uh, pause it, you can read it for yourself. And there's all the info there. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. That would be really kind of you if you got this far. Um, and everyone else, thanks for watching again. Give us a thumbs up and I will see you on the next review. Cheers.